All right. Welcome to season one, episode two of Real Life Fishing. And as you can probably guess, we are going to talk about rods. Um, we'll just get right into it. Screw it. So this rod over here on the left is uh, the rod that I first started with uh, as an adult. It's an ugly stick. Um, I'm sure everybody's probably owned one of these or seen one of these. You know, the action on them, they're very, very whippy. You can bend them up. Um, you know, they, uh, they don't have the best sensitivity, but they're pretty well indestructible. And uh, for the $20 or so you pay to pick one up these days, um, if that's what you've got to fish with, then as long as you're fishing, that's all that matters, right? From there, I went to a uh, Shimano Stimula, uh, which is longer, but to be honest, it wasn't that big of a step up, uh, except in price. So um, after those, uh, I kind of went to uh, Abu Garcia. I started switching to graphite rods and uh, you know, got away from the fiberglass. So I've got a vengeance here. Um, you know, I also had uh, some villains and uh, some vendettas. Um, and they were okay, but, uh, again, they, they weren't, they didn't have quite the sensitivity I wanted, right? At the time, I didn't know that, of course, you know, I'm, I'm progressing, I'm, I'm moving up, you know, this is over the course of, you know, five or six years, I went from the ugly stick and the, and the stimula to the, to the, vent, the, the Abu Garcias, but, uh, you know, so from, from there then, um, you know, after that, I, uh, I bought, uh, couple of uh, three St. Croix uh, Mojo Bass Rods, right? And uh, I got those at the local farm store. And I don't know, they were 100 or 120 bucks a piece, something like that. And um, like my second outing with one of them, I broke it. And called up St. Croix and uh, their customer service department uh, is incredibly, um, or at least was incredibly rude and, and unhelpful and it's a very long story that I don't want to chew up a bunch of time with. If anybody really wants to know it, uh, feel free to shoot me a message and uh, I'll give you all the background. But suffice it to say, they did not replace the broken rod. And the other two rods I gave away uh, because I didn't want them in my boat anymore. Those people can die in a fire. So um, I replaced them with uh, G Loomis E6Xs. Um, and now I'm just telling you what I have, right? The, 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 uh, the general idea here is not to get you guys to go out and buy a bunch of G Loomis rods, right? I don't care what you guys buy. Uh, I'm, I'm not sponsored. I'm, I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. Uh, it doesn't matter, right? This, this is just what I have. You know, you guys buy what, what works for you. All I'm trying to do is explain, you know, the, the progression that I went through and, and why I kept moving up and up and up to more expensive rods. And, uh, you know, so these E6Xs, uh, they were they were a little bit more spendy than the than the the Saint Croix I had. Uh, I think MSRP on the E6Xs is like uh, 220, um, but uh, Tackle Warehouse had them on sale for I don't remember 160 bucks or something like that, right? So I, I bought a bunch of them, and uh, they're they're great. I, I love them. You know, it's uh, I I use them. My better half uses them. They're they're the you know our go-to rod. Um, sensitivity's great. Uh, you know, power rating is, is about spot on. Um, and, you know, we, we just, we, we like them, right? But the, the, the big deal is the, the sensitivity, right? The, the difference between, you know, this, this E6X at, you know, a street price of what we'll call it $175 or something versus, you know, these over here uh, for, you know, 20 or 30 or $40. Uh, I mean, there, there is a tremendous, tremendous difference um, between the, the sensitivity of those rods. And that, that really does equate to uh, catching more fish. You know, people say, oh, if I buy an expensive rod, you know, it's not gonna catch me more fish. Well, really it does, because you can, you can feel the bite that much better, right? So when, when it's a rough day out there, um, you know, th those fish might be hitting really, really light. And if you've got a rod that's just, you know, really limp and, and, and you know, you can't really feel a whole lot through it, uh, you, you're going to miss those, those, those small bites, you know, especially if you're pan fishing, like crappie fishing or something like that. Sometimes those crappies, man, 
I, I was out with a buddy after a front and, and you know, I, I was using a, a, a Loomis GLX and, and he had an Elk River Custom and it just, you know, we, we only caught six fish all night long. We were out four or five hours and, uh, you know, we just, we, we remarked to each other several times on, on, on the boat that, you know, if it were only even two or three years ago when we were fishing with, you know, the equipment we used to have, we, we wouldn't have caught a single fish. Um, you know, so the, the sensitivity definitely does make a difference, right? Um, so if we go back from that, that E6X, um, so this is a, uh, a 13 fishing uh, Defy ultralight. Um, and I'm actually kind of mad at, at 13 fishing. Uh, the, I had an ultralight prior to this that I really, really liked. And uh, 13 fishing, unfortunately, bought that company and killed off uh, that, that rod. So I was not very happy, but I, I broke that rod on a trip and needed another one. So I bought this 13 at a gas station, right? Uh, that should tell you all you need to know about the quality of that rod, that I bought it at a gas station, okay? Moving on. Um, got another E6X here. Uh, this is a casting rod, right? You'll, you probably see that most of, the, most of the rods that are on my deck are, are spinning rods, right? Um, I, I do kind of prefer those. I think that they're, uh, they're a lot easier to work with. I think that they, uh, well, not I think, but you, know, you can go and look all this up for yourself if you don't believe me, but um, spinning rods pick up line faster than casting rods you know, per, per reel revolution or, or per handle revolution. Um, they have more drag than casting rods do. Um, you know, I, I think that all around they're, they're better for many different applications. Um, I do prefer the, the feel of a casting rod um, you know, so where applicable, I will use those, right? So my musky rods have casting reels on them. And, uh, you know, I, this rod here, uh, I've got two rigged up identical, uh, you know, one of them I use for throwing frogs and the other one I use for, for punching, uh, you know, a little bit heavier, heavier lures. Um, you know, these other ones I'll throw like weightless Senkos and, and that type of thing. Right. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so this, this E6X, uh, is a, a seven foot five, um, heavy fast, and uh, I've got a Daiwa uh, Elite Pitch Flip on it, um, uh, Tatula Elite, but we'll, we'll talk about reels in, in another episode. But, um, you know, again, uh, E6X, the, you know, it's a, a very, very uh, versatile and, and very wide line, a lot of skews. Uh, take a look, they really specialize those, uh, those rods for different applications. You know, there's a, a, these are JWRs, the, the jig and worm rods. Uh, there's jerkbait rods, there's drop shot rods. There's, there's all kinds of stuff. It's, it's really, really a great line of rods. I really like them. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by them. They're not paying me anything. I just like them. But if you don't like them, I don't care. Don't, don't buy them, whatever. But just you know, know that as you come up from that you know, 20, 30, 50, even $100 price point and start approaching more kind of the, the 200-ish, I guess, price point, uh, there really is a significant difference in rods. Um, you know, construction, the, the blanks that they use, the guides that they use, the sensitivity, uh, most importantly, right? I could sit here and tell you about guides all day. You don't care. I, hell, I don't care. Uh, I just want to know, is it going to help me catch more fish, right? And so to that end, um, you know, the, the ultralight rod that I, I went with. Um, so I wanted an Elk River Custom for my ultralight, but uh, they didn't have one at the show that I was at. And, uh, and then their, their showroom was closed due to COVID. So uh, I picked up this, this Loomis GLX, um, you know, cause Loomis is, is kind of a, a known quantity, um, you know, so I, I ordered this and I, I got a pretty good deal on it. I think MSRP on this route is somewhere around 400 or 410 maybe, um, but I, I got a deal on it. Um, so I, I picked that up and then, uh, um, you know, that there, there's a tremendous difference between that and, and that, that 13, rod over here, right? In terms of sensitivity and, you know, being able to, to really tell when those fish are biting and, and just the power of the rod and, and how far I can cast with it. You know, this, this GLX is five inches shorter than that, that 13 to five. Uh, and I can cast easily 10 or 12 yards farther uh, with the same tackle, you know, like a 30 second ounce jig and, you know, this, this little teeny guy that's on there right now, right? Um, so big, big difference there. You know, casting distance is, is important, right? Uh, and these better rods will allow you to cast farther just due to the way that, you know, those blanks load up when you go to cast, right? Um, and so then at the, kind of at the top of the line here, you know, when I, when I bought that GLX, um, you know, just for grins, because the deal on that was so good, I said, well, hey, you know, do you have this NRX in stock? You know, I've kind of been thinking about one. And so I, I, I ended up with one. 
um, right? So this this is you know some of you might have spotted it in the rod locker in the in the first video, but it's a uh, it's a G Loomis um, NRX 852S, uh, which is an extra fast medium uh, jig and worm rod. Um, it's a seven foot one, and this rod, um, you know, I've seen a whole bunch of reviews where people. You know, they take five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar rods. They put them on scales. They talk about what type of guides are on them and this and that and all this other nonsense, right? And to be honest, I don't care. I don't want to watch a review full of, you know, twenty thousand dollars worth of rods that I'm never going to buy or look at, right? Because I want to see a fifteen second blurb on one that I'm interested in, right? So I'm not going to advertise this video as as a review of the NRX or some nonsense, right? Because we're already ten and a half minutes in. Nobody's going to watch all that just to see about this rod, right? But I did put that on a scale when I got it, uh, along with the reel that's on there. And, and again, we'll talk reels in a different episode. But, uh, you know, th this this setup weighs, you know, 10 ounces, um, all, all ready to go, which is nice. You know, a lot of people are, oh, you know, I don't I don't care what my setup weighs. And uh, you, you really can cast more uh, and for for longer, you know, a longer period of time across the course of a day when, when you've got lighter gear, you know. So it's, it's nice, right? D is it necessary? No. You know, I've fished full days with, with these E6Xs. Hell, I used to fish full days with an ugly stick, right? Um, so I did get a deal on that, but it, it still cost me, uh, you know, almost three times the money as, as these, these E6Xs did uh, out of pocket, you know, just for that, that rod. Not, you know, never mind the reel. Um, and so I, I could cast it farther. Uh, I do feel that it is more sensitive than, than the E6Xs, but... Is it three times more sensitive? Can I cast three times farther? Uh, you know, the answer to both of those questions for, for me is, is definitely no. Um, and so I'm, I'm glad I have it in the boat. I'm not gonna kick it out of the boat. I do use it, but I don't think I'm gonna be buying another one. Um, but, you know, just to, just to give you some kind of an idea um, of what the, uh, what the sensitivity on there, on there looks like, right? So this E6X, if you can read that, is a seven foot one medium fast. Um, so I'm gonna set that across the gunnels like this. And then this NRX is a uh, seven foot one extra fast medium. And I'm gonna set that across the gunnels right next to it so that you guys can see exactly the difference in these blanks, right? So you can see I've, I've got the end of these rods lined up pretty evenly. Um, and so if you look at those blanks, you can clearly see the NRX dipping, right? The NRX is on the right, you can clearly see the NRX dipping in considerably more than that E6X, right? And they're they're both the same power. Um, you know, the, the NRX is, is an extra fast and the E6X is a, is a fast, but um, you know, there, there's definitely uh, a difference between the two. Oh no, I'm sorry, the, the E6X is also an extra fast. Look at that. So the, the according to Loomis, the, the, the power and the, and the action on them both is, is identical. And uh, you know, there's, there's definitely a difference between the two um you know it, it's up to the individual to determine if the extra price is worth it but uh lo long story short better rods do help you catch fish um but the law of diminishing returns does apply right so if you're if you're budget conscious my best advice to you is to get the best rod that you can afford and just get out there and go fishing enjoy it we'll see you next time